hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to convert autocad dwg drawing into the google earth kml formats directly without lips so let's get started so this is a drawing in my autocad work environment in case you are a first timer using the autocad cbtdd make sure you have set up your drawing settings as the coordinate reference system that your drawing is on in case you don't know how to do this please check under the comment section or the video description of this video to see how to do that thank you so after you set up your drawing to the coordinate system of interest first thing is to activate your toolbox tool in case your toolbox tool is not activated you click on this icon here this is the toolbox tool you click on that is going to bring out this two space you click on the plus icon beside the miscellaneous utilities then you scroll to export kml you double click on that then you double click on the extension it is going to bring out this prompt and it is going to carry the name that your drawing was saved as all right so here you click on next so you have these options all objects select objects for this all object, it is going to automatically select all the objects in your drawing environment. However, I want to select a specific object. So you click on the second option if you want to do that as well. Then you click on this plus icon. It will give you the advantage to select the object of interest. And I'm going to select my subdivided portion of my drawing. When you are done selecting your objects, you click on the enter key on your keyboard it will automatically select the objects of interest if you want to export the text on your drawing you select it then you check the box of the export text however i don't need that in the course of this video okay so the next you click on next then automatically it is going to read the coordinate system that you have set up initially then if there's nothing to do here then you click on next so in case yours is on any other options check on elevation relative to sea level then you click on next then you can click on this icon to rename your file however i'm going to leave it at the default then your silver type you can click on it and see other options however i'm going to leave it at the default then i'm going to click on save however before you click on save you note the folder where your kml converted file is going into so you click on save then after you are done with that you click on export then you can see the export status 100 percent exported so make sure your system is connected to an active internet and you can actually view the google earth format directly by clicking on view or you click on close you minimize your work environment then you come to the folder where you have your kml that was converted saved so this is it here then you can double click on it to open it so it is going to appear this way there's no cause for alarm all you have to do is to come under your layer you scroll to where the kml file is and as you can see it's here subdivided you click on the drop arrow then you scroll down the under model you click on it then you double click on model it is going to automatically launch you to where the drawing is on your google earth pro so if you can see the boundary line denominated on your Google Earth Pro, you right click on the model, you scroll down to properties, you click on that, you come to style and color, you click on share style, then under your share style, you come to altitude, then under altitude, you come to absolute, then you scroll up to clamped to ground, you click on that. So automatically it is going to display your boundary line or your subdivided portion as the case may be in my case on your google earth pro environment then you can come back to style and color to change the color if you wish to however i'm going to leave it at yellow then you can increase the width if you wish to if yours is on anything lower you can increase it or you can reduce it based on what you want then you click on ok so guys this is how to convert dwg AutoCAD drawing into KML format directly without auto leaves. If you find this video helpful and informative, do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as share to as many as possible. 
to keep getting valuable tutorial freely thank you see you in the next video